Okay, two minutes. Two minutes, boss. Why are you the best choice for Peggy? Did that come through okay? Did you hear that? Yes. Why are you the best choice? Begin with you. I believe I'm the best choice in the air for the exact reasons I laid out in my intro. I am honest. Look at my palm cards. They say what I believe in, what I support, and what I oppose. I'm not trying to hide in the shadows. I'm not telling people that if you want to know where I stand on an issue, ask me, so I can give one answer today and another tomorrow and, and, and what have you. People compliment me all the time, and they say, you've been singing the same song ever since I've known you. Darn right, I've been singing that same song. Principles never go out of style. That's the only song that should be sung. So that's, in a nutshell, is why I believe I'm the, I'm the better candidate, because I possess the qualities that we need in our next mayor. I am extremely well informed as to city happenings, city going on. I have sat in the cheap seats for more years than I consider, I, I want to, uh, to remember, studying the Port Orange story. And there are holes in the Port Orange story. People say to me all the time, whatever happened to that event? Did the mayor ever get back to you on that question? The answer is no. Port Orange is, is obfuscation central, is what it is. We need to remove the secrecy in Port Orange, and we need to lay down some standards. Do you know that to sell this Riverwalk deal, we have our manager scurrying around in a tavern in an industrial park in Ormond Beach. That's a place where you go to not be seen. And who is he there with? The Riverwalk developer's attorney. That is another thing that outrages me, that this is what's passing for government in Port Orange. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I should be your next mayor. Thank you. I think it's this type of negativity that we're tired of in government. I want to provide positive leadership. I want to be the face of Port Orange that makes Port Orange the great place to live that it is. I don't want to go back and point fingers and I'm not going to go back and you know be upset about what has happened in the past. I don't have anything to do with what's in the past except for my family has been in a history of Port Orange for many years. I want to continue to provide the leadership that keeps Port Orange in the positive direction. Again, I have a track record. I've been on the planning board for many years, but I'm a lifer. I just care about Port Orange and the people in Port Orange, and that's why I'm the best choice, because I only care about what's fair for everyone involved. Thank you. There it is. Honesty and integrity. There is not one of us up here that doesn't have honesty and integrity. And if somebody is up here implying that one of us is more honest or more has more integrity than any of the rest of us, I think that's, that's a falsehood in and of itself. If all it takes to be mayor is to be honest and have integrity and be informed, that's a great place to start. Absolutely correct. But it's where it begins. I also offer experience. I've been on the council for six years. I've been involved with this community a whole lot longer than that currently coaching baseball in the city. I've, I've currently, uh, I've recently ended a long time volunteering with Pop Warner Association in the city. I've been very involved in a whole lot of organizations. I talked about some of those at the start and beginning. That's being in touch with your community because it takes that also. It takes a whole lot more than me. Just simply, that's the building blocks. That's where it begins, honesty and integrity, and being informed. That's where it begins, but it takes more. You have to have an ability to work with people. I have that. It takes consensus building. I can do that. And I have a track record. I'm the only one up here that has an accomplished track record in this city of doing those things. Take a look at it. You may not always agree with it, but you'll take a look and say, yes, it gets results. And that's what, at the end of the day, I can go home. I can look my wife in the eye. I can look both my sons in the eye. And I can go to church on Sunday feeling good about myself. I'm not perfect. None of us are. In some way, we're all a little broken, but we all struggle to do what's right and do what's honest and do what's fair. And I can tell you for a fact, that's in my heart. I love this city, and I don't think any of the three of us lack in, in honesty or integrity. <laughs>